We're here to do a product demonstration for Leaktronics uh, using the Leaktronics equipment and how to properly pressure test a line. Um, we're going to show you how to use the Leaktronics pressure rig, how it has a, a chamber to mix both air and water and pressure up a line, but we're also here to show you how to use the deck plate, pipe mic, or soil probe um, in finding the leak. A big misconception is, is that, yeah, you could pressure test a line, but it's not going to tell you where the leak is. And we're here to show you how to kill two birds with one stone. I want to talk about, real quick about pressure testing safety. You never want to stand in front of a threaded plug, a compression plug, any plug of any sort. You never want to stand directly in front of it or directly above it because even under 10 pounds, that plug can act like a bullet. So on this specific job, another contractor was out here and determined that there was a leak in this cleaning line, um, which was not capped at the time, but now it is capped. Um, we're going to make sure that we put a, a good cap on. That's actually a cap that we put on, and we are going to test between point A and point B and show you both how to find, uh, to determine whether that line is indeed leaking, and if it is, we're going to pinpoint it and show you how. So we have our injection rig set up, and we're going to show you exactly um, how it's set up. So we have our inch and a half injector plug into the line that we plumbed. We stubbed it up from one inch to inch and a half. We have our air line going into our air. We have a valve to control that. We have our water line going in with a valve to control that. And we're running our air off that uh, pancake compressor that you'll see over there. Again, you so as you can see, we're not standing over the plug. Um, uh, and we do indeed, so we're pressuring this up. Actually, it dropped back down to five pounds. But if you'll notice, I'm gonna build it up to uh, about Never, we never want to go more than 10 to 15 pounds. You don't want to overdo it, and you always want to build it up slow. So if you watch when we built it up, I'm going to build it up again for you. you watch, you'll watch the pressure drop. And you can see it dropping slowly. So now that we know we have a leak in the line, we're slowly adding water. And what we're going to do is we're going to slowly add air into the line. And what it's actually doing, it's mixing in this compression chamber and it's going down in. And what you're doing is you're causing it to actually boil at the spot of the leak. So you never want to, again, go over about 15 pounds. So again, we have slow air, slow water, and now we're going to show you how to use the deck plate. So now that we know that we have air and water going through the compression rig slowly at the same time that we're injecting, what you now want to do is you want to listen where you think that line would run at different intervals um, to listen for that distinct boiling sound, which is what William is doing right now. Right there? Yeah. Good. So now we're going to let you hear exactly what he's hearing. We marked the deck. Um, this is the precise area that we have to uh, cut open. And uh, we know that we're going to actually be within probably six inches of the leak. After cutting the deck, we found a previously repaired line, um, and this is exactly where it was leaking, and now we'll know how to go about fixing it. 